So here are the items that you'll need to create your hot air balloon. Some cotton balls, some isopropyl alcohol, um, that'll create the fuel to heat the air, some tape to tape the bag together. Uh, this uh, is clear tape. Here's a little frame I made for the gondola. It's just some skewers wired um, onto a uh, tin can. Um, I use wire because hot glue uh, will melt when it gets hot. Of course, the lighter and then the um, fabric, which is a four mil uh, plastic drop cloth from Harbor, Harbor Freight. The six mil cloths are thicker and you have to create a larger balloon if you use thicker plastic uh, because it's heavier, quite a bit heavier actually. So. Uh, watch that. Anyway, so here is just roll the uh, plastic out on my bench uh, and then unfold it. I cut it to size. I was going to make it half the length, but um, in, in this case I decided to make it just a little bit longer. I uh, found the ends uh, that I wanted and uh, then I taped them using masking tape onto the bench to keep the plastic tight and to help uh, use the uh, clear plastic tape to tape it together and make the seam. That was pretty easy, just fold it over. Now that's the top of the balloon that I just created. Um, and uh, detach that from the bench and then I'm going to use the um, the long side now to tape that down um, and use the same method. The long side of the balloon will be the edge of the balloon and um, it's a little bit longer than my bench or the working space that I have so I had to kind of do it in shifts a little bit but using the same technique. Now with the other open end, uh, this is where I attach the gondola, the can facing inside the balloon, and then I just make sure it's right in the center uh, so that it doesn't fall over, become unbalanced, and then coil up the sides towards the center, tape them in, and uh, you have a, uh, a strangely uh, balloon-shaped uh, bag to inflate. Uh, the last thing I do is uh, put a tab on top uh, so I can hook the thing to my shop roof. You don't have to do this, but uh, I'm working alone with an open flame, so this will act as my third hand and make things a little safer. So I uh, attach it to my hook and then uh, inflate it using a heat gun. This heat gun can melt the plastic, so you have to do it carefully. The first inflation then is just to test for holes and to make sure that the gondola sits straight. Uh, I noticed that some of the tape was uh, binding up and then the gondola was sitting at an odd angle. So I fixed that real quickly and give it another shot of hot air uh, with the heat gun and voila, we're ready to go. Prepare the fuel just by soaking two cotton balls in the isopropyl alcohol, not too wet. Put it in the can and light it. That creates enough hot air to keep the b balloon inflated. And once it re reaches a certain mass, it becomes buoyant, as you see right there. So uh, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy, um, really inexpensive. I probably have uh, less than three or four dollars in this balloon. You can see it's inflating the balloon and pressing up against the ceiling. It wants to rise so quickly. You can launch these outside. The cotton ball burns out pretty quickly. Uh, however, um, you can't do this on a windy day. It's got to be still.